You should play with your makeup more. You found one style you liked after you came out and you just stuck with that for almost a decade. See, I would have done that as well, except I find, um, I met my friend who like is a, I, see, for me, I find like my comfort zone with, with my makeup. And I, I stuck with it for like a year, I want to say. Probably a full year. Um, I find a style that worked for me and I did it pretty much exclusively for a while. But the issue I was having was I fucking hated eyeliner. And everyone likes eyeliner. Everyone, wa everyone loves eyeliner. Everyone wants to do eyeliner. They all want to see the eyeliner. People want to see you do eyeliner. They're like, oh wow, the only makeup you did today was eyeliner? You really went all out on your, eye on your makeup today. This is, you went hardcore today. Only eyeliner? That's a lot of effort. That's crazy. Um, but, like, I fucking hated eyeliner. Honestly, I hated it. And it just didn't fit me. Like, my face was not built for eyeliner. Like, alone at least. Just not built for, like, big eye- Like, I have hooded eyes. <gasps> well, wow. I got hooded eyes, so, like, Trying to do big eyeliner wings just doesn't really work for me because, like, as you can see, when I turn here versus here, it, like, it, it, my eyes are just not the right shape, really. So when I try to do big eyeliner wings, um, they just end up being, like, they don't work for me. They don't work for my eye size. They don't work for my eye type. I also have, you can't really see because I have the false lashes on now. You can't really see with the false lashes on now, but um, I have very, very round eyes. Very, very um, round eyes. It's kind of hard for you to see now, I think, probably. Let me move you over here again, because it's my favorite angle. Um, but they're super round, like they're very, very wide. They're big, wide eyes. And I don't have like a nice sharp corner. Does this make sense, I think? I don't have a nice sharp corner to my eyeball. That makes it, um, um, but yeah, without that sharp corner on the, uh, on the outer corner of my eyeball, getting those, like, nice cat eyes is, um, it's kind of rough. So, that ends up basically meaning that my eye, my eyeliner wings have to be a little bit, like, kind of thinner. And, obviously, you just have to do your makeup based on your eye shape. So... I got tired of fucking eyeliner, okay? I got tired of it, and I met a friend who was very good at, um... <laughs> you can't tell that my eyes are wrong. Can you take me to dinner and look directly into them for a few hours so you can check? Is Aoife British? I'm from Northern Ireland, so technically, yes. I have... I actually have three passports. I don't know if you knew this. That's the cool thing about being Northern Irish, is I get a British passport, but I also, legally, they have to give me an Irish passport as well. And I'm still, I'm still allowed to be a member of the EU. So even though Brexit happened, I still got to be a member of the EU. And I also, I'm Canadian and I have Canadian citizenship. Makeup doesn't make you a woman wearing a choker necklace does. 49 minute wait. Yeah, I got a 46 minute wait. So I mean, we can hang out till then. No big deal. Um, but the, yeah, I have, a, I have a Canadian passport as well. So I have a Canadian um irish and british passport yeah my my friend was very into um into like well she's a makeup artist i met a friend who literally she works at sephora she is she now she does like more higher up stuff i guess but like at the time you know she was literally a makeup artist and um and she taught me a lot about makeup but also she kind of taught me about makeup that wasn't just like like how do i word it e-girl makeup the internet, the, the internet makeup you see, you know, by the e-girls is not really like the most common makeup to see in like real life. It's very much an internet style, you know? Um, and my friend is very not terminally online. She's, she likes TikTok and stuff, but she's like, she's not a terminally online girl. So like e-girl makeup, not really her thing. More, I guess, I don't know what the word is, traditional. I don't think that's the correct word for it, honestly. But like, you know, you always heard the regular kind is, is called pedestrian. Maybe that's, oh yeah, maybe. Maybe much more, um, but much more glam, you know? Like glam makeup rather than, every, it, it's not everyday makeup. Like she, she's a makeup artist. So like she literally does like nice like wings and stuff, but she doesn't do like, if I think of e-girl makeup, 
I'm thinking like really bold false flashes, really bold, um, like a lot of, a ton of blush, 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 the false freckles, the, the big wings, all that stuff, you know? Um, the button nose, all that stuff, you know? Like here, we'll get a couple examples. So yeah, like this, like boom, big dramatic, the underline here, the big eyeliner, uh, the big false lashes, the intense eyeliner, Doof. the big false lashes, the blush, the false freckles, the nice, you know, the, you know, the heavy, the contoured nose, Doof. big, strong things, you know? Whoa, crazy. That's like the e-girl makeup. But then there's like the, I, I would say like glam makeup maybe? Is like how I'd word it. Yeah, like maybe like this or something. Yeah, yeah. Like so, like this, like this, or like this. So, um, if you compare like this to like you know the e girl look, you know it's similar. Obviously, like there's obvious you know that she's got a nice nose, similar nose and all that nice lips and stuff. She got the but like is. It's not, it's a different style of makeup, basically. So anyway, my IRL friend, more that, more like that style is what she's skilled at, what she likes to do, and not really the e-girl makeup. So now I kind of have taken my makeup more in, in like, I'm trying to take my makeup more into this direction or like this direction than I am taking it into this direction or this direction. Like less this, more this, you know? More this, less this. More this, less this. You know? Um, with just the eyes or the whole face, eventually I'd like to move on to the whole face. Eventually. And you like my makeup better? Oh, thank you. Uh, eventually I'd like to move on to getting my whole face in. I'd like to move on to getting foundation and stuff. Once I move, I'll probably start picking up more products. Recently, like super, super recently, I only added in the contour. Like, Contour is like brand new to me, so eventually I want to start getting foundation. I'll try to do like foundation. I'll try to do contour and blush and stuff like that. I'll try to get that incorporated into the makeup routine. But um, it's like best to. It's something I'm just picking up slowly, if that makes sense. And mostly I do my makeup on stream. I don't really do my. Um, I don't do like my makeup like this to go out because I don't go out, you know? I don't, um, <laughs> I don't, um, I don't go out and do stuff. Like I don't go to like, you know, I don't go to parties. I don't go to clubs or bars or anything. And when I do go out, I just go see my friends and I sit on my friend's sofa in my like comfy clothes and we watch like TV together, you know? And we don't like, I don't, I, I don't go, cr I don't go crazy because I don't need to go crazy. So really, I only do my makeup for stream. Not only for stream, I do it for photos as well. Makeup for photos, makeup for stream. And I do it sometimes. But something I wanna get better at in my life is going out more so that I feel like, in, in a weird way, I feel pressured. I kind of wanna give myself a bit of pressure to like practice my skills and, and other stuff.